Hey everyone, I'm Joey. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make a three balloon bow and arrow. You're actually only going to be inflating two of the balloons. The third balloon is just the string of the bow. A few things that you're going to need for this design are a dual action hand inflator, three 260 balloon twisting balloons. Both of these items can be found using the links in the description below. You're also going to need to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps our channel and it's a very small, simple way that you can show your support. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified every single time we post a new balloon twisting or balloon decorating tutorial. And remember, you can always slow this video Video down or pause it if you need a little bit of extra time as we're going through it. So hit that like button, grab your supplies, and let's get started. For our first balloon that is going to be the bow, I am going to inflate it to about three finger lengths tail and then squeeze the rest of the air so that I'm leaving just a little bitty nub on the end. Now that I've softened the balloon by squeezing it, I'm going to tie the nozzle in this nub into a double knot to make a circle out of this balloon. Tying a double knot with elastic balloons is a tough skill and it took me a long time to learn, so don't feel discouraged if it's taking you a little bit of extra time. Practice doesn't make perfect, but it does make you better. So keep working at it, you'll get it. Next, I'm going to grab this knot and pull the balloon so that I find the middle point on the other side and twist the balloons in opposite directions to create two equal halves. Next, I'm going to twist the balloons in opposite directions like a pretzel. Next, I'm going to tie my deflated balloon as the string of the bow on one side and then tie it to the other side, creating a bend in our bow. All I need is one knot right here. And here we have the basic shape of our bow. A few common scenarios that you could run into are your bow comes undone and it looks like this. Not to fret, this is an easy fix. Line them up on top of each other and twist them using the ends of the balloons here in the same direction. This will create that pretzel twist shape again. So this is your bow. Now you're going to inflate your third balloon about halfway and this will be your arrow. I'm leaving quite a bit of tail on the end because I don't want my arrow to be extremely long. For my arrow, I'm going to give it a good squeeze to soften the balloon, and then I'm going to create two ear twists right here on the end. So I will make a one inch bubble, fold that bubble in on itself, grab the nozzle, hold it near this twist, pull up on the bubble and twist. There we have one ear twist. Now we need to make another ear twist. So another one inch bubble, fold it over, Squeeze the two sides together, as in a pinch twist. Pull the one inch bubble up, twist it around. And now we have two ear twists on the base of our arrow. And we are ready to see how this bad boy flies. Hold the string closest to you, load your arrow in, and let it fly. So there you have it, that is a three balloon bow and arrow. Kids and adults absolutely love this because it actually shoots and you can launch it across the room. The only thing you need to remember is to like this video for the YouTube algorithm because it really helps our channel and it's a small free way you can show your support. Subscribe to our channel if you like the content we're putting out. Hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified every time we post a new video and let us know in the comments below how your balloon bow and arrow goes. Thanks again for watching everyone. Good luck with your balloon bow and arrow. I'm Joey, I'll see you next time.